Hey, what's up, Gun Nuts? It's Ferrari Steve, and this is another video in my series of modification videos for the Ruger Mark Series pistols. This is the Ruger 2245 Lite. Already had some modifications to it, but we're going to do some more. But first, let's do a quick safety check. We're going to eject the magazine, lock the slide open, visually and manually inspect, and we're good to go. So today, we're going to put on some new grips, but not just any grips. Look at these bad boys. These are the Tandem Cross Aluminum Super Grips. And what makes them super? Well, a few different things. Number one, super lightweight. I really like them. They're aluminum and they're lightweight, so they're not gonna add a lot of weight to the gun. They're super thin. Look at that. They're not gonna give a lot of girth to the gun. Now, if that's what you want, well, then these probably aren't the grips for you. But for me, and especially for my 13-year-old daughter, for whom we're setting this gun up for target shooting, uh, these are going to be great because they're really low profile thin grips. They're also super grippy. Look at those uh, that checker pattern there. It's uh, really grippy, but it's not going to hurt your hand. It's not digging in and hurting me. I also think they are super well machined. Uh, that machine is really clean. Nice little recess spots for the screws. Same there. I think the pattern and design are are just super high quality. Uh, that's that's another super element. And they're super versatile. These happen to be usable on most 1911s. That's one of the thing about the Ruger 2245. In fact, I believe that's why it's got 45, because the grip angle was modified on this version to match the Colt 1911. And that gives it a more natural feel for guys who are used to the 1911, but also you can use a lot of the same grips. So these aluminum super grips will also work on a 1911, or most 1911s. So let's get going. You're gonna need, all you need for this, is a 330 seconds Allen key and some Loctite glue. Now the first time you remove these, there's gonna be a little snap. Uh, you may wanna, there we go, a little snap on that first one, and then it's gonna come out easy. So I like to loosen that initial snap. I've had these grips off before, so we're not gonna get that initial snap from the factory Loctite, but it's gonna be snap like that, and then you can just loosen. And I actually like to do each side individually rather than take all the, all the screws out because I like to line my screws up remembering which hole they came out of. Yeah, they're all supposed to be the same, but just in case there's a little bit different machining on one versus the other, I know this is the top screw and this is the bottom screw, so I'm just gonna do one side. So the old wood, and these are pretty wood, you know, dark colored grips, but my daughter Sydney likes all black, and so that's another reason why we chose to go with this. They're available in silver, which man, can you imagine how cool that silver would look against that bolt? Um, and there are some silver options you can kind of tweak out. You're gonna make it look like a six hour nightmare or something, which is a cool look. But Sydney loves all black on her guns. She doesn't like girly girl guns. She likes black, you know, rough looking tactical guns. So that's what we're going with. Uh, even though these are really pretty grips. I'll put these aside or maybe you could run them on a 1911, who knows? Put them back down in place, there we go. And then get a little bit of thread locker. Now, this is the new gel that I've started using and I really like it. it doesn't run and get gooey everywhere, and it's really easy to just apply a little bit to the to the bottom of the threads there. There we go. I'll put it down. And again, this is our top screw, so we put it back in the top hole. And be very, very careful. Just very lightly turn that, see if it bites, and if it doesn't bite, stop and back it out. Okay. And it's very important also never to over-tighten your grips. That's why we're using the thread locker. Right, just once it starts to resist, you're done. Let's do the bottom one. A little bit of this thread locker gel. There we go. Don't use too much. It'll get gooey and get all over everything. And again, very, very light turn initially. If you do strip it out, you can pull out the, the female portion there and replace it. But you don't want to have to do that. So just go nice and easy until right there. It's resisting there. Make sure to wipe off any excess thread locker that leaked out. That's a cool look, man. That looks great. Let's flip it over and do the other side. Okay, remove that one. That's my top screw, so I keep it up top. Here's my bottom screw. And again, you may not be so OCD about screw location, but it won't hurt. Remove your old one. Grab the new one. Let's 
Well, they're about the same weight, which is really interesting. That metal and wood are the same weight. These aluminum is really lightweight and thin, real nice. Fits perfectly. A little bit of our thread locker. Maybe let's grab some of the excess there. Oh, we need a little more. Okay, very nice. There we go. Oh, we got a little bit on the grip, so I'll fix that in a second. And it's a, right there. Feel a little resistance and stop. And our last screw. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I've seen some videos that have kind of background music and some of this portion. I'm really not into that. I can sing to you if you want, but I don't know if you'd want that. There we go. Let's thread it down nice and slow at first. Make sure we're in the right spot. We are. Then we can speed it up. And again, once I just start to feel resistance, right there, I'm done. And it's as simple as that. Look at those grips. That feels nice. Feels about the same width as the stock grips, but I do feel it's a lot more grippy. I can feel it both on the fingers on this side and, and certainly in my, uh, in my shooting hand palm. That feels really nice. Plus, I think it's a cool visual upgrade. I think it looks uh, stealthy and tactical and uh, you know there's nothing wrong with the original wood grips but sometimes you just want to kick it up a notch and do a little customization this might be a way to go uh, we talk price I don't think so these are $70 uh, retail but uh, Tandem Cross has them on sale right now for $54.99 I think they're a good deal especially since you can swap them out to a 1911 if you need to and uh, again they're just grips not the magic about them but uh, I think they look and feel great. We're going to test out shooting this weekend, so we'll take some video of that and get some better feedback. This is Ferrari Steve. Thank you for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you like what you see. Um, get out there, practice, 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 so the first time you have to pull that trigger, it's not the first time you have pulled that trigger. See Viz Potch and Parabellum. Stay safe out there.